Oh my. Julie, this is a lot like a wedding. <laughs> uh, Anson, thank you so much for that. Um, a lot of people might not know, but I, I, I still haven't figured out if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but Anson and, and his wife, Melissa, had power of attorney over me. Um, after my parents, I was 17 years old when I went to college, and my parents went to uh, live over in Italy. And so all major decisions I had to pass through him. But um, I am completely honored and, and blessed that you are the one that stood up here today. Whenever I give speeches, um, whenever I'm asked to talk, I, I think about Anton and, and uh, the way he, he so eloquently expresses his thoughts and his feelings. And I truly believe that is a gift. And, um, you know, for me, Julie and I did talk about what we were going to say today. And, and first, I just want to start off by saying thank you, because there are so many thank yous to be said. Um, first of all, to the Century Council and the Hall of Fame and all its members and staff, you guys are here for all that you've done for me and my family in, in making this event um, absolutely wonderful and memorable. So thank you so much. I want to extend my con congratulations and gratitude to fellow inductees, uh, Alan Rothenberg. Anytime you want to buy me a bottle of wine, Alan, just call me up. And Smitty, I feel I can call you Smitty. I've met your entire family and your friends. I have to say there are a couple I'm afraid of. But. Uh, you can see the love and the passion that you have for them. So thank you for sharing them with us. And it was wonderful to meet you guys, especially you, Gabby. I also want to say congratulations to the 86 team. You guys, you basically established the standards that all of us had to live up to. I also wanted to send out my best to the current women's national team. As Christine said, they played last night. They defeated Finland 4-0, and they leave tomorrow, yeah. And they leave tomorrow for China, and I know that they will continue to make us proud. And Jules. Man, I always have to follow Jules. You know, this event is so great and so wonderful. But it's even more so to the fact that I not only get to enter the Hall of Fame with one of my teammates, but one of my closest friends. And I think it's, it's only fitting that she be inducted in the first ever female class. You have been such an ambassador and advocate for young girls and women all over this country who are searching for a voice and opportunities and ways to make a difference. I truly believe that your greatest hour is yet to come and that we have only witnessed a small glimpse into what your impact and legacy will be. You know, my life and, and career have been a collaborative effort. And there are so many people, many that are here today, that have helped me arrive at this moment. And I want to say thank you. First of all, to the fans. You guys are the best. To, to pull into a stadium and see your face painted, and, and there is, I will tell you, not a more humbling experience to walk into a stadium and see so many girls wearing your jersey. And um, I am so proud of that. And I hope you can see that every time I took the field that I was playing for you guys. So thank you so much. Yeah. 
to the media who came out and on so many occasions when they probably thought they got the short end of the stick, but came out and helped us create this wonderful, amazing revolution that you see out here today, that you will see in two weeks' time at the Women's World Cup. And so I want to say thank you to them. U.S. Soccer and all the women national team staff members, thank you for supporting this team and as Julie said, setting the standard for all other national teams to follow. To the WSA staff and investors for believing in our dream and the dreams of so many young girls, and I promise you we will be back. My sponsors, some who are here today, Nike and Gatorade, they supported me from the beginning. And they helped me not only realize the dream of being a professional, but of helping our sport grow to incredible heights that we never thought possible. To Johnny Langle and his wife Jackie and their family, I can't even begin to think where we would be without you. Your wisdom and support has given us courage, and you always, always believed in us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My agents, Dave, Dan, as my husband told me, they started off as, as a business relationship, but they have become part of our family. And thank you for helping me learn and grow and get a greater sense of responsibility. And thank you for bringing in Michelle for helping us to continue the Mia Hamm Foundation to make a positive impact in so many people's lives.